Hey, I'm back. This is a double feature. Okay, right now, we're going to talk about the bacon. Check that little thing out, man. It's tiny. Tiny. I got a fan going. I got the windows open. I can't close them up. There's going to be a little bit of background noise. Suffer. I don't know what to tell you. It's too damn hot in here. I can't turn it off. So, I actually, I apologize for the background noise, okay? Um... Let me see here. This thing is tiny. I love the beacon. Love it. That's both of them. See how it's smaller than the Sage? Let me make sure it's... Yeah, that's significantly shorter. Um, it's a telescoping mod. Um, I'm not going to get really into it too much, but watch this. This has the same battery. It's got an 18650 in it. The same one that was in this on the last video when I hit this tank tank atomizer is what I meant um, let me unlock it alrighty it's tiny my god it's small it's cool I like it it's highly portable it doesn't cost a lot right, we'll talk about it more up close watch this It hits good. It hits real good. For a $65 mod, authentic. Let's see here. Serial numbered. Oh, let me get that to focus there. Well, maybe not. Who knows? I don't care. Whatever. You guys probably don't give a shit. Anyways. Let's go up close. Let me tear it apart a little bit. Let me show you. Check it out. Okay? All righty, and we're back. There it is up close, and we're done. I'm kidding. <laughs> There's the beacon. Check that logo out. A little lighthouse. It says beacon. You can see the battery in there, so obviously it is vented. This thing's tiny. I mean, look. I, I mean, you can't even see it in my hand. My whole hand covers it. That's crazy. For an 18650, it's a pretty small little device. I really do dig it. It's made out of uh, T6 here, here, and the metal tube is all T6 aircraft aluminum. This end cap and this end cap down here are 304 stainless steel. It has a spring button on it. Okay. And we can take that apart here real quick. Take the battery out. Let me see if I can woo, mess with the tripod. Knock that over. And then edit. Silver plated brass contacts. It has a... Uh, that button doesn't even come up that much. Look. thing barely comes up. I've been using this for about three weeks now and this knob here this switch that was a little loose but it was nowhere near backing out on it you know how like some of them will back right out and it'll stick on oh that's cool look at the glimmer silver okay it's enough of that and there's the aluminum that is Feather light. The threading is really, really well machined. It's not, there we go, not cross, woo! I don't want to cross thread it. I'm looking through a viewfinder as I do this. It's a little difficult. Look back it, there we go. Listen. I mean, that's just, look at it. Spins really easy. Really super simple. Nice glidey threads. And because it's telescoping, you don't really have like another silver plated brass. Cause this, like that. And it'll take this, see how it turns and adjusts it further down. That's basically what you do when you put your Addy on. You grab it, have it down 
some atomizers like the the 510 connection that's in the center see this one sticks out a little bit some of them are actually in there so it's it's that's pretty nice on this you know you can put it on there any addy you want or tank or whatever you want to use with it tighten this down right there got connection um, I try not to put my fingers on the silver plating too much because I don't want it to tarnish although I just did it on each one of them twice now <laughs> just to show you guys don't do this I don't know what I'm thinking anyways yeah I try not to do that because I don't want it to tarnish because if it tarnishes then you have to kind of polish them up um, it's better when they're uh, fully clean for conductivity got a little bit of, a little bit of banana nut bread on the old 510 connection here there we go it's nice though. It's got a, a pretty good uh, over drip well right here. A little bit of uh, slotted for some air. But the tube, this tube, it feels like you're not even hanging on to anything. It's crazy. It feels, I mean, it's super, super like feather light. And you can see in there, it's not real. Um, not real thick or anything. Conductivity is great though. I mean it it's it's a mech mod. It, it's a good mech mod. It does what it's supposed to do when you ask it to do it. The button itself takes very well, I mean it's not like a real light switch, but it has like a real good feel to it. Real good. I I dig it. I really, really like it. Let me put that battery back in there. And uh and I like the way it looks too. I like the red, personally, just because it's different. Everybody's got gray. Everybody's got black. This one happens to be red, and I like it just because hardly anybody else has it. Try and get that pretty much in the center. There we go. Tighten it down. It's done. I love telescoping because you can run different battery sizes in it, and it's always going to fit because it telescopes. These two end tubes will actually telescope all the way down to where they are touching each other. You can put, and I mean, they're tiny. It's like that, you know, very, very small. So let's go back out and uh, talk on a little bit more vape on it because I feel like I need some nicotine. And we're so back. let's do that. And there it is. I absolutely, I really do like this. I carry this with me more then I do the Sage because this costs like a little bit more money this than that this is a bare bones but I mean it works fantastic I mean you're looking ninety dollars for a Sage okay it's awesome awesome I love it I like heavy mods the fact that this one isn't all that heavy because of the aluminum construction doesn't mean that I don't like it. Um, I just like a heavier mod personally. But for a device to carry around with you because it doesn't pull, you know, pull on your pants while it's in your pocket. It doesn't feel like you know your pants are uh, uh, drooping on one side more than the other. This one's perfect. Um, it's small. It's very portable. Very reliable. Very well made looks cool and it's 65 bucks for an authentic serial numbered mod not a clone not anything like that it's their own design their own name their own color schemes their own logos and it does come with a card of authenticity silver plated brass contacts 65 bucks i mean shit you can you can drop 50 on a clone easy and it probably won't work any better than this does you know this is an authentic and probably I don't know I mean like Grim Green said you know I am a uh, Grim Green fanboy I am I met the guy he's super nice guy he's really cool um, we didn't talk for too awful long I didn't want to bug him he's busy 
you know, but I had to say hi to him. He's like one of my heroes. Anyways, um, like he said, if it's a mech mod, it's, if it's a good one, it's going to hit good. You know, if it's a shitty mech mod, it's going to be shit. It's not going to hit worth a damn. This hits really good. It, it does what it's supposed to do. It performs. The conductivity is there. I mean, let me, I almost hit it. I bet it's dry, too. It's, it's close to being dry. You guys almost saw me make a god-awful face. Right now, I've got it standing on the switch without it being locked. It is not activating. So, you can put a little bit of weight on it, which is kind of cool. Um, put a little bit of juice. Just dough it up. And put that on top of the mod. I don't know. I'm a little tired. It's getting late. Okay, here we go. It hits pretty well. It hits pretty damn well. There's a fan blowing air this way. Watch this. <laughs> Blow it straight up in the air. Okay, one more. That shit is good. <laughs> 65 bucks. Did you see that? 65. That's insane. I am going to put a link in the description where you can buy these. Obviously, it's from Beyond Vape, so you can get them from Beyond Vape, as well as other people that wholesale them. Um, and I believe there are people that uh, sell these on uh, eBay as well. Very good. I, Beyond Vape, I probably sound like a fanboy with all the Beyond Vape shit I've been doing lately, and I am. Seriously, I am. Because, in my opinion, I think they're fucking, they're hitting it out of the park. They really are. I mean, for an authentic, 65 bucks for an authentic mod, serial number, is almost, it's unheard of for an authentic. It really is. And you just saw the way it hit. You Seeing is believing, and that's it. And that is the juice in this that I just made in my previous video before this one. If you want to see that with the ratios and all that, check that out. You'll see it. It's not all VG. Okay? So, I mean, obviously, this it's, it's good. It's real good. And then, I just wanted to do a quickie on this one while I did the beacon. The Neptune. It's uh, Beyond Vapes Hybrid. Um, works pretty good. I'm not going to go hugely in-depth on this. It has a beacon-esque button to it. Um, still silver-plated brass contacts, top and bottom. Very nice throw on the switch, the same as the beacon. Let me take the battery out of this and put it in the uh, Neptune here real quick. Um, I like it. You can see the beacon switch and then the Neptune switch. The beacons is a little bit bigger. In diameter um, this is 333 serial number um, the only reason and I'm not going to go heavily into detail on the Neptune is because it, it it's a good it's a hybrid it's a good hybrid okay um, the flavor is really good on it the threads if you're a thread junkie get one just just because of the threads it's like, they like glide, they glide through like hydraulic fluid. I mean, that is, look at that. Listen, you can hear nothing, nothing. I mean, it doesn't crunch, it doesn't, it does nothing. A tiny bit of battery rattle in there right now. Oh! Nope. 
Nothing. Okay? Now, same juice. I got a dual coil build in that as well. It's a standard three post. Um, I'll put that down. Juice it up a little bit. The well is pretty decent on it as far as the amount of liquid that you can put on it or in it. Um, I love the color. I like everything about it for the most part. This is set up mainly for flavor. Um, the holes that are in there are very small. The airflow is very, very small. Um, it's pretty tight. It's it's tighter than what I like. Um, I would like to see like a, an adjustable airflow. Um, and the fact that, I mean, it's a hybrid that costs 150 bucks. that's not real cheap. And you can't do variable airflow with it. That's, that's not real cheap. But they do make a 510 top cap adapter for it. So you can basically, you can take this, you can take this whole piece off take the hybrid piece off, put the top cap on it, okay, and then you can just turn it into a regular 510 and run that on there if you want, or any 510 threaded device obviously. Um, but with that said, I think that's another, I'm not even going to look it up, I think it's like another 25 bucks in order to get that, that, uh, 510 top cap so you're looking at hundred and seventy five dollars for an authentic mech mod or slash if you want to run it in hybrid mode you know it would be more versatile if they sold it for hundred and fifty bucks with the 510 top cap then I would be like yeah this thing is cool it, it rocks or maybe different caps for this with better airflow. That's really all I got to do. Come up with a different top cap with like an airflow adjustment. Put it on there. You got your ring that adjusts for bigger hole or uh, airflow. I think that would hook it up. That would hook it up pretty good. Um, where you put your wires through on the posts, it's not really all that um, they're not really all that big so you can't really put that big of uh, uh, gauge wire through it I gotta tighten this one down I got one that's loose that one right there that one loosened up on me before that one right there so I gotta keep an eye on that. I wonder if I even had that one coil firing on that last hit. Oh well, let's hit it again and find out, shall we? It still kicks. It still kicks. I can't really ohm it out because it's a hybrid. I don't have anything to put it on that it'll actually read it. Um, but it, I mean, it does the job. But 150 bucks, man, that's a little, that's a little pricey for not being able to adjust your airflow. That, that's all I got to say about it. But the threads are phenomenal. The finish is sweet. I mean, the little Neptune logo. Look, I scratched the shit out of it. It's not coming off. That's not coming off. You can feel it a little bit. It's not etched in there. It's like anodized on it or something like that. But, I mean, it's really nice. The threading is the phenomenal. Like I said, if you're a thread junkie, 
get one because you're gonna be like, oh my god, are you just gonna sit there and do this with your little thread fetish? <laughs> you know? So if you're that guy, which I'm not, but if you are, get it. Um, but that's all I got to say about you know the Neptune. Awesome. It is awesome for what it is, but like I said, it is not for me. Okay. But the beacon for what it is, the versatility of it, the cost of it, the quality of it, you're not going to get anything better. If you're a beginner and you're thinking about getting a clone or a cheaper mech mod to see if you'll um, enjoy using a mech mod, get the beacon. Get the beacon. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. It's, it's awesome. I can't say enough good stuff about it. I really can't. So definitely check it out. Check out the links below and uh, hit them up. Pick one up. You won't be disappointed. That's what I got. You guys take it easy. And as always, take care. Okay? Talk to you later.